Ottomans. Done. Oh, wow. We went from negative 200 to negative 200. <laughs> well, at least it's something. Oh, my God. Wants your provinces. Negative 200. Well, that's where it all... What the hell? That is the stupidest modifier. Why did they add that in? Why? I don't usually say something like that. Uh, but th wants your provinces is one of the worst things they added in the, you know, recent patches. It makes no sense. Yes, countries want provinces of yours, absolutely. But if they don't have a claim on it, then don't make them desire it. Actually, they probably do have claims on all these. Roads, they want roads? No, you don't, no. God, that's so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see. Ferrara, your time. It's your time to shine. Improve relations. Oh, you got a weak claim? Ferdinando de Este. Wow, another Ferdinando de Este. Hmm, interesting. We could probably go ahead and start giving ourselves some more barks. We have only 12 over here. Uh, where are they? I don't even know. Oh, the, the Tyrian Sea. <laughs> Tyrian Lannister Sea. Perfect. Or they're going to it anyways. Yeah, we're gonna get, like, three more barks for that stack. And then we have... Five more. Yeah, we'll grab five more to go and patrol Ragusa. Perfect. I guess you could work on Crete. Yeah, do it. It doesn't hurt. Plus, we're not doing much anyways right now. Okay, it happened. Muscovy annexed... <laughs> oh my god, Novgorod. Uh, yeah. So that's it. I think all they need now is, uh, Ryazan. Tver. And that's it. I don't even know if they need anything else. I mean, I've played as Russia, or Muscovy, and I formed Russia before. I, I forget. Yeah, they need 10 administrative tech anyways, so they can't do it right now, uh, to begin with, but... It's coming. Alright, break out of this union, please. Can ya? The good thing about unions is that it takes 50 years for them to even consider annexing. And at that point, it might not even happen anyways, uh, depending on how the relations go and the prestiges for the country uh, leading. Luckily, Castile's doing well with their prestige. I really hope in 50 years, or however it is now, uh, that uh, it doesn't go as well. <laughs> Please. Yeah, we're gonna grab this. Absolutely. And now we're pretty much caught up. I mean, yeah, we're about a year behind now. So, once we bring this up, we'll be ahead. We'll be good. Perfecto. Alright, we have six right here. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and send you to Ragusa. It's not much, but it's something. Alright, we'll send you up to Lika. What is this? Papal State? Sure. Why not? Renaissance Prince. Lose 20 ducats and gain 10 prestige. Or lose 5 prestige. Yeah, you might as well just gain the prestige. It's fine. Prestige is good for us. Global trade power. There it is. 8.4%. It's pretty good. Plus, at the bottom, it says aggressive expansion impact minus 5.6%. I'm not exactly sure how that affects aggressive expansion, but I'm glad that it's there. Milan. No, screw off. You're in a thing with me. Coalition. Ew filth. Plus, I need Lombardia anyways, so. War is... Oh, no! Why are you allied with France? Damn it! You stay out of Italy! You... Screw off! I need... I need area over here for me to expand, you know? I'll be better to serve you guys once Italy is formed. I'll have a nice larger military that I can help you in your wars. But right now, you need to let me expand. All right, head down here to the Gulf of whatever. You're coming all the way up. Yeah, all right, fantastic. No, nope. grab it. All right, there we go. Fantastic. How much do we have? 55 there, 20% there. With a total of 18 coming from the six trade ships that we have in the water. Absolutely brilliant. Good stuff. All right. I think we're going to go ahead and add the four cannons in. We'll go one, two, three, four. They're pretty damn expensive, so I want to do it right now uh, while we still have this money. 
And I think the next thing that I'm gonna save up for is a diplomat. Or, sorry, an embassy to get the free diplomat. Hey, look at that! Improve relations with Ferrara. Three prestige. Alright, what's next? Remove Mantua from the map. Eh. Not right now, sorry. Manpower needs to recover. That's a good one to do just because it's gonna happen no matter what. However, if you get yourself into a war or if you're declared on, uh, it goes away and you fail it, as we learned before. And incorporate Serbia. Let's just do this one because it's gonna happen eventually. And it's plus 25 aggressive, uh, sorry, administrative tech. So, yeah, give it to me. Please. Okay, what happened? So you took uh, Cuneo and Nice. It's not nice. It's not. Taking that province does not make what you did nice. Ay, ay, ay. Austria will not all trees with England. Okay. Austria. Wait a minute. Does that mean that you broke your alliance? Oh, yes. Yes. That is awesome. What's your relations with them now, then? Friends. They're not friends anymore. Okay, Austria. Okay, am I blind? Where is Austria? Oh, you're Austria. I'm so stu- <laughs> Uh, 20. Alright, that's fantastic. I thought I was in France's uh, diplom diplomacy screen. My bad. This would be so good right now, but no. I have to wait until the tech, which is almost- Okay, there it is. Which unlocks the march as well, which is additional 500 to 700. I don't know, I've seen 500 as a max, but I've also seen it go higher than that in some regions. We don't have the money right now to test it. There we go, perfect. We have a fully stocked army with 21 infantry, 4 cavalry, and 4 cannons. Again, like I said, I will try to fill that up uh, to 40 as I go. Alright, so I think the next thing that we're going to do, when can we annex you guys? This will be in... Oh! Pretty much now. Ferrara, pretty much now. The only one that's going to take a little while is, I think, the Knights. Yeah, 97. That's okay, though. I'm going to focus on Ferrara and Serbia first. So once they get up to that point, I'm going to go ahead and immediately start annexing them. Because I want them incorporated into the Venetian Empire. They will be mine. Declared war... Oh, Switzerland. He declared war on Savoy. Yeah, Savoy was just not a good ally to have. I knew that there was going to be problems between them and France, but I just was hoping that it would subside for a little while. Alright, let's look for a new ally. Somebody big and powerful. Uh, like Muscovy. That could help us. I mean, they like us. That could absolutely work. Yeah, let's go ahead and improve relations with them. Well, crap. Not right now. <laughs> we need, uh... What is this? Hey, Milan? Excuse you? Right, yeah, we need a lot more money to grab the embassy, and we don't have another diplomat. Oh, did I just give access to Milan? Crap, I did not mean to do that. No, I didn't. Who was it then? Who what? Oh my god, that is fantastic. The Papal State just did something amazing. They took Tuscany for us. Oh, that is great, because now, once I take Ferrara, I can fabricate a claim. Well, technically, I can fabricate a claim on Romagna right now. But then I can just take that all. And I'd have... Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I don't want Aragon or Naples to take it. And I have a feeling that they might do that. The Breton Succession War? What? They're in a personal unit with a Gust... Ugh! What the hell, Castile? What is this? You're really getting around. You're making your rounds in, in the bedrooms of all the other countries. Come on! <laughs> um, well, good. If France wins the war, then they have a personal union with them, instead of freaking Castile. <sighs> Hopefully they, um, they take some land from Aragon, too. We'll have to see, though, because right now we're just sitting idly by. France does not want to call us into any wars. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. What a nice little ally he is. Oh, what's this? Okay, well, we'll have to improve relations soon. Master of the Mint died. Well, give me morale of armies. No, land maintenance modifier. 
And that wasn't even the right place. I think it was in here, too. It's fine. Well, we still have another 23 there. That'll bring it up to the point that we need to uh, um, annex it, which is awesome. And Ferrara, that's going to definitely take it up to 200. Awesome. Uh, I ignore them. Well, no. Yeah, ignore them. We need to catch up with our diplomacy. How are things going down here? Awesome. You took out Barcelona. Perfect. Uh, but you need to take out uh, Loire. Because that's the war goal, sir. You need to capture the province. The capital of the personal union country. I don't know. Sure. That works. It looks like France is actually having a, a rough time trying to catch these guys. Lost a core. Oh! Right. Yes, because Albania was... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Damn it, Crete! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna freaking happen. Get on the boat. Let's head out. Well, now that, uh, you know... Ooh, what's this? Eastern Gibbs Fracture. Okay, so we're gaining some ocean tiles and the Canary Approach. Good. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. But once we get all these island provinces done, we'll be fantastic. Because then we'll have barely any rebels on these... Oh, hit the mic a little bit. Then we'll have barely any rebels on these islands. Good. Get back to converting them. Savoy will cede Wallace and Vaud to Switzerland. And Savoy will pay money. Absolutely wonderful. Switzerland is getting pretty damn big for Switzerland. Yeah. Good stuff. Election. The term is up for Enzo Barrigo. Yes. Antonio Emo. <laughs> I don't think we should have an Emo Doge, but we could. Yeah, let's do it. Antonio Emo. Good. And we will... Why is this still the leading faction? I am really confused at how this works. Oh! Wait, what? Okay, there it is. Faction takeover. Good. Yeah, I think that'll be a little bit... Well, maybe not. God, that was really helping us out with the army maintenance. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Alright, Serbia's pretty much done. Awesome. Actually, they are done. And now we're just waiting for Ferrara. But in the meantime, we'll improve relations with Muscovy. See if we can get an alliance with them, because that would just be fantastic. Have a nice big ally to the north and to the east. Or sorry, the west. God, why did I say east? <laughs> Technically, I should say east and west. But that's fine. Yeah, Muscovy's going to be fantastic to have an ally with. Oh, did they take uh, Finland? Yeah, I think so. Finland was up here. But they must have uh, took them. So, what does it look like? Oh, yeah, they want to be my, uh, my ally. That's absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's do it right away. Yep, offer an alliance. There we go, the big bad Russian bear is now on the backs of the Venetians. Fantastic. That is so cool. <laughs> I think that we're a little bit better. I mean, yes, right now they're Eastern, uh, but it's not going to matter. Russia can stay Eastern for the entire game and still eat everything. I mean, my last game with uh, Denmark as Scandinavia, I was just getting wrecked by them. And I was Western. It was it was just horrifying. We keep gaining a lot more of these. The coast of Gambia. Oh, we met the Mali. And Trazar. Tra Trazar. Traza? Yeah, Traza. I don't know. Hello, Mali. You're a Sheikdom. Hmm. Interesting. So how's this war actually going for you? 27. I mean, you're doing very well, but it looks like they just have a lot of units. Is Portugal in this too? They are. Ugh. That's not good. I don't like that. You could call me in, France. I could help take out... These guys. I'd love to have these provinces. Uh, I guess not, though. Large revolt in Bosnia. Okay. Wipe them out. They're just peasants. 
not that big of a deal. I really need to get some more supply limit in these areas, and the only way to do that is to increase the fort limit, or the fort size, rather. Yeah, that's just really, really bad over here. We could barely walk down the coast to Ragusa. Ugh. Uh-oh. That's not good. They enacted the first form, the Reich's reform. I mean, it's good for everybody in there, because they get cheaper uh, tech and build cost. But it's not good for anybody else. Okay, I think we're good with uh, Muscovy. And we will... Uh, yeah, we'll bring you back from Ferrara. Fantastic. I think it's time to start annexing, shall we? It's gonna take 130, 165. You know what? Yeah, we might as well stay behind in, in Diplo Tech for the time being. I don't really mind. It's fine. Annex both of them. The knights are gonna get really mad at us, but it's fine. They'll get over it. As the knights always do. And they survive. By the tips of their toes, they survive. It's fine. I once saw, like, Malta rise up as the knights. It was pretty interesting. It's kind of like the Papal State, how if the Papal State gets destroyed, there's a chance that it'll spawn somewhere up here as another country. Uh, you know, not as another country, but it will spawn from another country. Cardinal, really? Loch. Okay, we'll do that. Yes, Austria left the coalition. Good. Good, good, good. In fact, it's almost worth it just activating it against Hungary. That way there, I could take Lombardia now, but I'm not in a rush. Not in the least. More discoveries. Oh my god, are they over... Christ almighty, they must really, really be over here. Alright, that's gonna be it for now, because these are just way too much. I wanted to grab the islands, that way there, there's barely any revolt risk. And I'm happy that there isn't. Whoa, 10.5? Why? What did I do to you? <laughs> you sure? 10.5? What the hell? When does Crete lose its uh, 1594? Eh, another 100 years. Good god. Well, that's just gonna be an issue. Training fields. We could go ahead and grab some training fields. In fact... We are over by eight years. However, I think I want to grab more defensive ideas. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, you know what? We'll make one exception right there in Venezia. We will go ahead and build one training field. That way there we get some more manpower as well. Well, we're almost done with Ferrara. That's good. How many more months? Oh, it's done. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, our force limits are at 31. They have... S okay... Do they have any ships? They do, but we can afford to have these guys, and you know what? That's perfect. We'll just add them to our own fleet. Do they have any trade ships? They do. Perfect. We'll add you to Ragusa. Where's Ragusa? Way down there. I don't understand why that's Ragusa. <laughs> that's Alexandria. Okay. In fact, you know what? I really should... Well, no. We need it more over here in Ragusa. Because a lot of it's going out to Austria, and I don't like that. So, we'll do that. That's fine. Uh, but you, yes. How many more? How many do I have to get rid of? So, five. It's almost not even worth keeping anything. But, sure. We'll keep the cavalry. And we'll get rid of all these guys. Get over there. Alright, you're all set. We have 21 cogs total, 10 galleys. Genoa left the military coalition. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, good. Now we have 22. So, the cavalry, I'm not going to go up any more than this. Yeah, you cannot have more than 50% cavalry compared to your infantry in a battle. Even still, I think that you don't really need that much cavalry. See, now, I was under the impression that I needed more cavalry than cannons. Because cannons didn't really seem... I don't know, they didn't really seem useful in battle in my head for some reason. Uh, but they really are. They're good. Alrighty, let's head back over to the ships. Group them up. There we go. Trade in Ragusa. Let's see, we're going from 15 to 26. Fantastic. Okay, we integrated Serbia as well. Awesome. 
And we gained that mission done, or that mission's done now. Convert Kosovo to Catholic. Maybe. Save the Lombard people in Firenze. You know what? I think it's almost time for a papal war. Between Milan, ugh. Switzerland, ugh. Lorraine and Corsica. Well, would France join? No. France is in debt. And Muscovy is just way too far away. They're only there for a defensive point of view. Ah. Uh, hmm. I think I'll wait until France is out of debt before I do anything. So, Kosovo. No, that's 144. That's not happening. Sorry. Force limit. I have to get rid of four. Okay. We'll get rid of the cavalry. Don't need that one anymore. Good. Once you're ready, gonna head over there. Navy is still fantastic. We have one trade ship out there that we will group up to Ragusa again. What else? We have four ships there, two galleys, two cogs yet again. Absolutely move that back over there and we're good. Fantastic. Barely doing anything and increasing our, our navy and our armies. That's... Ugh. I love vassals and everything. I really do. So you're going to go back to Ragusa. 41%. That's fantastic. If only we had a, a free diplomat to... Um, or, sorry, free merchant to go ahead and um, transfer trade to Venice. What is this? Oh, look at that. Uh, this is uh, northern Canada. Good. I like that. Skip over Greenland. Who needs Greenland? Let's just go to Canada. Oh, what's this? Yep, we'll grab that tech. Absolutely. And a national decision. Two of them. Act of uniformity, which will increase... Oh my god, that's perfect. Increase missionary strength. And this. Which, you know what? I'm going to do only because our stability cost modifier is way too high. Because of the Republican tradition. In fact, that's really going down for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. So what's it cost me now? Still a lot, because it went down even more, but regardless, that's fine. What's our religion like? Yes, that's so much more uh, viable. In fact, I'm going to work on Kosovo right now then. Convert Kosovo, yep, do that. We'll work on Firenze after. In fact, we're going to go ahead and get a claim on them. Fabricate claim on Firenze. Good. All right, but that's going to do it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, I know it was peaceful, and I like war and stuff like that, but we really got a lot done. We annexed Ferrara and Serbia, so now we got a nice little strip. It's, it's weird. <laughs> it's so weird looking, but it's going to look so good once we can take all of this area in here. And up here. In fact, well, no, we're not going to worry about Hungary. I want to focus on the Papal State right now only because I'm afraid of these guys taking them. Oh, they peaced out. Okay, what happened? I missed it. I, didn't I make you? How do I do this? Hang on. Oh, I didn't target you as special interest. Crap. I should have. I should have. Uh, it doesn't look like... What? How did you lose that war? That doesn't even make any sense. You probably just settled for something stupid. Right, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more Venezia.